All right, we're here with uh, UCO women's basketball coach Guy Hardacre for MIAA Media Day ahead of the 2017-18 season. Coach, why don't you start with kind of just an opening statement about this year's team? Well, we've, uh, we've had two practices under our belt, and uh, I think it's going to be a pretty exciting team. Uh, our, it's kind of a different scenario for us. We, we feel like we're deep as far as a team, but not deep in practice. It's, it's kind of a weird deal where we have, I think we have position players at every position, but the depth in practice is kind of, kind of uh, bothering me a little bit at this point. But um, we have four, fresh, uh, four post girls that could play at any time, and we have some returners. Uh, I think we have seven or eight returners with three starters. So there's a lot of experience there, and I think they'll have a great opportunity this year. If we start with those returners, you kind of got to start with Melinda Murillo. She gets first team all MIAA last year. Mm -hmm. First time UCO's had a player on the first team in the mm -hmm. conference. Uh, what about her now she's a senior? What about her and her leadership and her abilities? Can you talk about? Yeah, I think I think that that's what makes her such a great player. Is she is a great leader. You know, she's the positive uh, encourager, the motivator. And, uh, you know, it's hard to do. That's hard to do, especially in practice and you're tired and you kind of thinking about yourself, but it takes more energy to think about everyone else, and she's really good at that. So I think I think she's got a chance to compete for the player this year. Uh, she was a first teamer, and she has the year she had last year, and improves a little bit on that. And we improve as a team. Uh, she'll have a lot of success. Her along with Jashawn Cooper, uh, another senior. Jashawn had a huge year last year, coming on a first time, first year in, at, at UCO, and. Uh, kind of, kind of the same question about her. What yeah. is, what kind of strides has she taken this year? Yeah, she has come in in the best shape. You know, last year we play her about 20 minutes a game, and um, you know she led the league in block shots, averaging 20 minutes a game, and broke the school record in single season by January. I think she had 100. But uh, her shape is good. We're hoping she can play for 30 minutes. You know, if she can get, if she can get 30, 31 minutes this year. Her stats are really going to increase. I think she was right at a double double last year. Uh, I think I think she's got a real chance to make an impact. The the junior class you have a couple of uh, pretty talented guards there, and in, in, mm -hmm. a, in a in a bigger class on the roster, mm -hmm. uh, they they've played a lot of basketball for you over the last couple mm -hmm. of years. What about them and making their progress? Yeah, the uh, we have uh, two returning juniors. Um, they're kind of carbon copies of each other. If I could clone them, I would clone them because they, they they're roommates and they fight each other every day like they're not friends and they're best of friends. Blake Blessington was a starter a year ago as a sophomore and uh, she just will guard and she won't take a possession off. And then her roommate Madison Lee is kind of the same way. In fact, uh, Madison, um, I think we were about 20 and one and then Madison got hurt last season. And that's what's really tough about Division II basketball, especially in our situation. You lose a player or two, uh, it really can change the way things go. I think we finished five and seven the remainder of the season and barely got in the tournament. And luckily for us, we started playing a little bit better, but I couldn't imagine the impact she made on our team when we lost her. And she's healthy again. She tore her Achilles and she's had a surgery and she's in practice right now. And I'm really excited about the year I think Madison's going to have. That that sophomore class, they they got some minutes. A couple of them got some pretty significant minutes as freshmen. Mm -hmm. And uh, get that get that first year out of the way. And how are they looking now? Yeah, Shatoya and Arion both got a lot of experience last year. Shatoya had a breakout game against Lindenwood and kind of did what we thought she could do. Uh, she was kind of playing the freshman role, you know, last season and kind of doing what she was supposed to do. And then I kind of figured out a little bit later that she could re she can really score. And uh, when Madison went down, she picked up her defense. And when she did that, that made her a little more complete player. So I think she's going to have a really big year. And that's right, Ariane, um, she uh, played limited last year as a freshman and will play a significant role this year on the post. She's come back in better shape, and she's, uh, she's running the floor extremely well. And, and that's the reason I kind of said earlier, I think our team's going to be interesting in the fact that 
we may play some, a lot of double post with a certain lineup, and then we'll play a single post with a certain lineup. And the same thing will be defensively. We'll play a certain defense with two bigs, and then a different defense with only one. So we gotta kind of have to play to their strengths. We, we go down talking about these classes, and in each, in each one of them, you have someone who played as a freshman. Mm -hmm. And so this, this incoming freshman class now, mm -hmm. uh, you've got some pretty athletic kids. Uh, when, what, what, what do you expect from them uh, right away and then throughout the season? Well, one's going to make an immediate impact from the start. And uh, I would be surprised if she didn't even get a few starts throughout the year. Uh, her name is Jonna Johnson and she's a local girl here at, at Edmond Santa Fe High School and without a doubt right now I think the best on-ball defender in the gym. She uh, she can get to the basket and create her own shot and she's got a decent size to her as, for, and she plays point guard. Uh, our other two freshmen, Lauren Chancellor, is a pleasant surprise. She's uh, she reminds me of some players that we had in the past. She can create her own shot, shoots a legit jumper, uh, very athletic young lady, and uh, she was a late get for us, so we're excited about her. And the other freshman, uh, Aaron, is a uh, long-range bomber. I mean, she shoots it from way out. She's not very big, but she can get her shot off, and she can get it off quick. So those three, I think, will all see minutes. I don't believe we're going to redshirt anyone this season. A um, couple of girls with, that I probably need to talk about are my two Megans. Uh, Megan Womack's a senior post player who started as a sophomore and then uh, we brought Jashawn in last year and so Megan kind of lost her spot but Megan got better as the season went on and she even realizes it that bringing Jashawn in helped her get better as a player. So I kind of think I, I would love to play those two together this year and we'll just kind of see how it goes, what's best for our team. Uh, but we could be extremely big if I played both of those two together. Uh, and then we have a we have a, our only other out of state girl besides Jashawn, uh, Megan Hartness. Uh, she's a transfer from Connors Junior College, and she is a really nice player. She's she, offensively she's really gifted. She shoots the ball well and can create. And so kind of I think we're gonna have fun with them because they can all kind of create their own shot. Um, one other young lady we we left out that should be playing this year is uh, Gabby Johnson. And she's a 6'2 freshman post player that we redshirted last year due to a knee injury in high school. And uh, she's, so she's a redshirt freshman and she's the best athlete in the gym. She's the fastest girl in the gym. And some post players are gonna have to get back because she, she can get down the floor pretty quick. And then we have a couple girls that are question marks right now. Um, Sadie Mason, is she's hobbling and recovering from an injury. And then Taylor Odell is also trying to recover from an injury. So we're not quite sure where they're going to be or what roles they're going to play at this point, but we're hoping that, that we will get them back. You, you make a run uh, to the MIAA championship last year. Mm -hmm. uh, clearly the goal mm -hmm. to, win the, to win the championship, and, and you, you're, you're kind of winning in the fourth quarter of that championship game. So what, what did you kind of do during the off season, and what are you kind of looking to do during this preseason uh, to get that team to that next level. Yeah, the whole goal for us is to stay strong mentally for the entire season. Because we kind of, when we lost Madison last year and then we lost those games towards the end, uh, mentally we were fatigued and uh, we've got to stay strong even if somebody does go down, if there is an injury. And we put ourselves in that position. You know, I was, I was glad we got in the finals. But we put ourselves in that position by having to play a, a play-in game or a, you know, a Tuesday night game, whatever that was, and then, and then get to the tournament and then play three straight. And then we get the at-large bid for the NCAA tournament. We were fatigued. And we were fatigued mentally because we didn't put ourselves in position to be in the top four. And we might have finished fourth in the league, but it was a tie. And mm -hmm. somehow we ended up fifth. And, and so we had to do a play-in game. I really think that affected us a lot, especially with our depth late in the season. Well, you, and you mentioned getting back to the NCAA tournament again after a few years uh, of not making it. Uh, getting there isn't mm -hmm. going to be good enough for this team. No, no. You know, I, I know they've got lofty goals. I do too for them. Uh, they want to do something special. You know, we talk about uh, how the Hamilton will be different 
you know, ne you know, next year that start construction on the Hamilton, and uh, she's defended us for a long time, and that's our that's our theme this year is we're going to defend the Hamilton. I know they want to do something special and um, make a real run at this thing. All right, uh, seventeen eighteen season tips off at the MIAA. Great American Crossover Challenge uh, in the second week of November. Coach, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. And good luck on the season. All right. Thanks, Chris.